Hello everyone, welcome to the Green Man channel, hope you're doing good and well. So in this album review, I'm reviewing the sixth studio album from the Swedish melodic death metal band known as In Morning. This is their album The Bleeding Veil, vale, which was released last week on Friday on Dala Pop Records. Uh, it's 46 minutes and it's seven tracks. Now In Morning have um, you know, a pretty consistent discography, I think. They uh, rarely disappoint. And they're also, I think, very underrated. Um, I don't hear too many people uh, talking about this band, and yet they, um, you know, I think they have shown um, some really um, superb musicianship and capability in their, in their previous albums. And this certainly is an, ex is an, an exception to that rule. Um, and in fact, I go a step further saying this might just be their best album to date because it really is genuinely quite fantastic. And there are tracks on here that um, I think really just demonstrate just how good In Morning can be. Um, and to begin with, um, the, the song In In Walker, sorry, the song Thorn Walker was uh, really, really uh, quite a powerful track, both with the kind of brutal rhythm it had, sort of brutal riff, that sounded like it could have been on uh, Ghost of Perdition by Opeth, um, and that combined with the more beautiful melodic sections and the soaring kind of um, clean vocals that are used as well. Also, I think, show that In Morning have a great arsenal of, of vocal um, ability and that they can do their harsh vocals and their clean vocals as well as each other. And some metal bands, you've got one that is slightly stronger than the other, some that do clean vocals slightly better than the harshest and vice versa. Um, obviously, the musicianship is, is second to none here. Um, fantastic drumming uh, at play, um, always you know changing it up in, in only the way that great metal bands like this can do. Um, the riffing, as I say, the rhythms are great. Um, and there are so many unpredictable moments that it at times might feel uh, you know, a tiny bit bewildering to a new listener. But um, the more you listen to this album, the more you enjoy it and the more you pick out and the more you realise just how good it is. And this time round, I think what In Morning have also done well um, is that, uh, well, for one thing, the production is excellent, but also um, they have, uh, I think, the songwriting here and the themes in this album really kind of draw out the music that bit more as well. Uh, and I think this is, um, yeah, a terrific um, album from In Morning. Um, I would say that uh, I also really enjoyed, as well as Thornwalker, the second single, really enjoyed Solitude and Silence, uh, Lights on the Mire. Uh, the final track was excellent, Beyond Thunder. But what they could have done, I thought, with um, with Beyond Thunder is it could have been that bit longer. There was a kind of final melody that felt like it was brought to an end much soon. I felt like that melody at the end of this track um, could have been sort of repeated a bit more. You know, if you find a really good melody, I think you've got to let it play enough to, to allow the listener to really enjoy it and to enjoy the moment in the song. And if anything, they cut it for me a, a bit too soon towards the end and, and finish the song off too quickly. I think they should have let that carry on or even just, you know, continue to develop this track a bit further. And if there's anything that I have as a minor criticism of this album, it's actually that given the, um, given how good all seven tracks are on this album, it is actually there were moments I thought they could have actually developed, you know, a few of these perhaps even a bit more than they were. Um, but, um, you know, you may share a slightly different view on that one. So yeah, great album, um, another really good release from In Morning. I'm going to give this album an 8.5 out of 10. Um, do feel free to share what you would give this album as a score in the comments section. Do you think it's um, you know one of their best releases to date? I certainly do, um, to my mind. Um, otherwise, I um, hope you all enjoy the rest of your evenings. Uh, do feel free to hit like and subscribe button and everything. Uh, if you also want to follow other of my album reviews on the channel, I also do some sci-fi, fantasy um, and horror coverage from time to time. Um, otherwise, take care everybody and it's bye for now.